Well, it's time now for our uh, science segment with today a look at the Ohio uh, toxic chemical spill triggered by a train derailment early in February. A month and a half on, the population in East Palestine is uh, still concerned for its health. Meanwhile, fingers are pointed at the railway company who operated the train and its alleged uh, security failings. We're well, joined uh, here in the studio by Shirley Sitborn from our science desk. Good to have you with us, Shirley. Uh, let's break down what happened on the day of the accident. Well, we can see the images because there was a, a CCTV a camera there. And uh, what happened was that this train was going through uh, East Palestine and uh, there was an overheated uh, wheel bearing which caught fire. And then the whole uh, rail car got fire and other ones, uh, dozens, uh, collided. And this led to uh, a fire taking place. And some uh, workers uh, from uh, this company and also emergency workers, they decided to release other uh, gases from other uh, uh, cars, train cars, because they believed there would have been an even greater fire and accident had they not done that. So uh, basically in the air, uh, there is a lot of vinyl chloride, which is used to make uh, plastic polymers uh, and uh, also benzene. So very toxic uh, chemicals. So what happened in the following hours and days? First of all, the fire firemen uh, they, and firefighters, they, uh, they put out the flames, but that means the water was intoxicated and also the, f the ground. Uh, so what they had to do, uh, other uh, emergency workers had to evacuate all those products to various sites across the United States. There are about a dozen of them for that uh, extremely hazardous waste, places where they're treated, uh, disposed of, uh, and where they're stored. Uh, but still, uh, there's concern about the situation there in East Palestine and the whole area. I can imagine. Well, Ohio is, is suing uh, Norfolk Southern Railway, saying the accident uh, could have been averted if security measures had been cut down. It seems the actual accident revealed kind of larger safety problems, Shirley. Yes, because uh, now uh, the Senate has talked about this. It's been revealed that this accident could have been averted uh, because there are various mechanisms that allow to detect when there's an overheating somewhere in a train. And we've learned since then that there are many things that were wrong with uh, uh, that train. And as uh, we can see, the CEO of this company, which is called uh, Norfolk Southern, and he said, well, he regrets this and that the company will pay uh, uh, to will clean up the area and all the expenses. But at the exact same time, there was another accident from the same company. Another train derailed. Nothing toxic on that train. But still, the senator said, well, this points to some problems. For example, we've learned that many wheels in these uh, trains, not just this company, but others as well, are not really stable. They need to be changed. And for, uh, well, basically economic uh, budget cuts, uh, all of these security mechanisms were not put in place. And we learned since then that in the past decade, this company, uh, well, it reduced the number of em employees by 38 percent. So we believe that more people used to work on these huge trains and only three were on board that day, which is not really enough to, to face those kinds of, uh, of problems. Uh, and that's basically the Senate and also a, a special committee for these issues. Uh, they uh, want to probe this and put in place laws that enforce and uh, make all these mechanisms, well, compulsory. Absolutely. I mean, residents are unsurprisingly fearful for their health. Walk us through some of the reactions that you've been hearing. Well, they are extremely concerned because they're still feeling bad. There's still this uh, smell in the air. And also they have nausea, headaches, uh, rashes, and they're concerned. So they're also not very confident in what authorities have not tugged them. We can see maybe some images of the uh, people who live there. Uh, authorities have been saying, well, it was polluted. The area was polluted at first, but now it's fine. It's OK if you're feeling bad, but it's not dangerous. Of course, residents have called and asked for uh, other independent experts uh, to come over, various university uh, experts. We can see a, a town meeting uh, that was uh, a few weeks ago with uh, Aaron Brockovich, who, who's known for uh, oh, yes. fighting for clean water. Uh, and they're basically concerned that down the line, there's going to be a spike in cancer cases because of this, because those chemicals, that they can bring that. They're extremely dangerous. Uh, and what we do know is that there's still toxic toxic material that needs to be evacuated. But uh, health, author health authorities say that some states who have centers to treat that hazardous material, they say they don't want to take it in anymore. It's too dangerous. Well, there's a this situation has to be managed, but it's pretty complex.
Absolutely. Shirley from our science desk, so thank you very much for walking us through that. You can, you can see why residents are upset and worried. I mean, who wouldn't be? Thank you, Shirley.